channel trend line where we explore the latest trends in social media and technology today we're diving into a hot topic twitter versus threads if you've been using twitter you're probably familiar with threads those long chains of tweets that allow you to tell a story or share your thoughts in a more extended format but are threads really the best way to engage with your audience let's find out before we jump into the debate, let's quickly recap what Twitter and Threads are for our viewers who might not be familiar. Twitter is a popular microblogging platform that allows users to share short messages, known as tweets, with their followers. Threads is a new app from the parent company of Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp. The platform looks a lot like Twitter, with a feed of largely text-based posts, although users can also post photos and videos where people can have real-time conversations. Meta said messages posted to threads will have a 500 character limit. Similar to Twitter, users can reply to, repost and quote others threads posts. But the app also blends Instagram's existing aesthetic and navigation system, and offers the ability to share posts from threads directly to Instagram stories. Thread accounts can also be listed as public or private. Verified Instagram accounts are automatically verified on threads. The vision for Threads is to create an option and friendly public space for conversation, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg said in a Threads post following the launch. We hope to take what Instagram does best, and create a new experience around text, ideas, and discussing what's on your mind. Users sign up through their Instagram accounts and keep the same username, password and account name, although they can edit their bio to be unique to Threads. Users can also import the list of accounts they follow directly from Instagram, making it super easy to get up and running on the app. But it's not quite so easy to leave threads. While users can temporarily deactivate their profiles via the settings section on the app, the company says in its privacy policy that your threads profile can only be deleted by deleting your Instagram account. Some users have also raised concerns about the amount of data that the threads, like Instagram, can collect about users, including location, contacts, search history, browsing history, contact info and more, according to the Apple App Store. Where is Threads available? Threads is available in 100 countries and more than 30 languages via Apple's iOS and Android, according to the company. Both Twitter and Threads have their own merits, so let's break it down and compare them side by side. Twitter has a lot going for it. It's simple, concise, and perfect for sharing quick thoughts or updates. With its character limit of 280 characters per tweet, you're forced to be concise and get straight to the point. This brevity also allows for easy scrolling and quick consumption of information. Twitter's real-time nature makes it great for engaging in conversations with other users and staying up to date with the latest trends and news. Hashtags and retweets help amplify your reach and connect with a wider audience. However, one drawback of Twitter is that the short character limit can sometimes be restrictive. Expressing complex ideas or telling a detailed story can be a challenge. That's where threads come in. Threads provide an excellent solution for users who need more space to express themselves. By linking multiple tweets together, you can share longer stories, elaborate on ideas, or provide in-depth analysis. Threads make it easier to maintain context and engage your audience over an extended period. Additionally, threads have a unique advantage of being able to be read sequentially, making it more like reading a mini blog post. However, threads also have their limitations. Longer threads can be time consuming to read, and their content can sometimes get buried in the noise of Twitter's fast paced timeline. People's attention spans are often shorter on social media platforms, so it's crucial to keep your thread engaging and concise. Could Threads be the Twitter killer? Threads is just the latest platform launched in recent months in hopes of unseating Twitter as the go-to app for real-time public conversations. But it may have the greatest chance at success. Many Twitter users have expressed desire for an alternative since Musk took over the platform late last year. Frequent technical issues and policy changes have sent some noteworthy Twitter users heading for the exits. Meta has at least one significant leg up on Twitter, the size of its existing user base. Meta is hoping to capture at least some of its more than 2 billion global active Instagram users with the new app. That's compared to Twitter's active user base, which is somewhere around 250 million. So, which is better, Twitter or Threads? 
Well, the answer depends on your goals and the type of content you want to share. If you want to quickly share bite-sized thoughts or engage in real-time conversations, Twitter is your go-to platform. Its brevity and immediacy make it a powerful tool for reaching a broad audience and staying in touch with the pulse of the online world. On the other hand, if you have a story to tell, an idea to elaborate on, or want to dive deeper into a topic, threads are a fantastic choice. They allow you to break free from the character limit and create a more immersive reading experience. The best approach might be to combine both Twitter and threads strategically. Use Twitter for shorter updates, sharing links, and engaging with your audience in real time. And when you have a more extended narrative to share, leverage threads to provide a comprehensive and engaging experience. And that concludes our discussion on Twitter versus threads. We hope you found this video informative and insightful. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay up to date with the latest social media trends and technology, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching and we appreciate your support. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers. We truly appreciate your support and subscribing to our channel is a fantastic way to show it. Thank you so much for being a part of our journey and we look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Once again, thank you for being a part of our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell.